Hello, Tom. Hello. Hello. Can I start by saying I am very, very happy that I found you and I found this group. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's great. It's definitely, uh, I feel like I've been guided here. And in particular, the meeting this morning. So I've been reading books from Sri Ramana for the last three years. And one of the, I grew up in Ireland. I grew up in a Christian Catholic home and fell away from the, from the church for a long time and sort of came back to it. And one of the conflicts over the last two years is can Bhagavan's path be reconciled to the Christian path? So much so, I in, in the area where I have my morning practice, I have a Christian image and I have the, a photo of Sri Ramana. And it's, in my mind, in, may, in my Maya mind, there's like the two of them were competing. Yeah. And was I, was I given one more attention than the other? And, and it's how I found this group, actually, three weeks ago or two weeks ago, I Googled. I don't know what the question was, but it was something about the teachings of Christ and the teachings of Bhagavan. And a, a post from tomdas.com was one of the, uh, at the top of the search result, which was my first time on onto your site, and I read that, which led me into the meeting. So thank you again. And this morning, as you, as you began speaking about Maya and the things of the world and related the self to the father, I immediately thought of the prodigal son, the parable of the prodigal son. And then you mentioned it later on in your conversation, the parable itself, you mentioned it by name. I've, I've always felt drawn to that particular parable, and I don't know why, I've always loved it. But as you described it this morning, it was a whole new revelation that the self and the father are one, and that the son was out his reality was Maya and chasing everything that, that is Maya. And when I think about the generosity of the father by giving half his wealth, the generosity, generosity of the self. And then you began speaking of happiness and interchanged the word love with happiness. I thought about the reaction of the father as he came home, as the son returned, and the joy and the celebration in the realization the son had returned home. And lastly, I've always had a fear, good old Catholic guilt of hell and the devil, and you interchanged the word Maya with the devil. And that's a whole re revelation for me this morning. And I just wanted to comment on that. I wanted to say this has been three years old, this conflict, this internal conflict, and it's beginning to lift. And I wanted to say thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you for sharing that so beautifully, so passionately, so clearly. I really appreciate what you've said. And it's all Bhagwan's grace. It's all thanks to Bhagwan Ramana. We have, we, I can share in this way. So I say thank you to you and I say thank you to Bhagwan for 
giving these teachings to us and allowing this sharing to occur in this way. And I like the fact that you mentioned about the celebration of the prodigal son. You know, that happiness, that celebration, that feast is represents, is symbolic of liberation, right? Being reunited with the source, with the father. And you could use feminine language, mother, daughter, if you wanted as well. It doesn't make a difference. This is not about gender or race or sex or anything like that. It's meant to point to a deeper truth. We're coming home to what we are. And I often talk about, I don't know if you heard me talk about original sin. Can see original sin is the same as ignorance. Ignorance. The at first, the first mistake is when we think of ourselves as a body mind. This is the original sin, and it's the apparent fall of man, fall of descent of man into the world out of the Garden of Eden, which is liberation, heaven. So I've, there are a few articles and a few videos. I, there are a few articles I've written and a few videos that people have made of me speaking about Jesus and the Christian tradition. Um, And I, I have a deep connection with Jesus, as many people here know. And I know what you mean about the competition. But this, it's all the same. Bhagavan, Christ, Jesus, it's all the same. And for me, sometimes I related more to Bhagavan, Ramana, and sometimes I related more to Jesus. And that's okay. On a Monday and Tuesday, you can you go towards Bhagavan. On a Wednesday, Thursday, if you feel like you can go towards Jesus, it doesn't make a difference. You know, Thursday, Friday, you might like Shiva. Saturday, you might, you know, you might want Ganesh. You know, sometimes you do bhakti. Sometimes you do um, self inquiry. It's all the same. It all takes us to the same place. What matters is our intention. Our heart, our intention is pure, and we are we're genuinely relating to, relating to the divine in each of these. 